What's up y'all, it's Steph and I'm back with another solo, you guys. If you guys are new here, welcome to the channel. Thank you for subscribing. If you've been here before, welcome back. Today, you guys, I'm gonna be trying by myself the Cardi B and Offset McDonald's meal. Tasha didn't want to try it, so this was a good day for me to try it because she ain't here, okay? She's working on some other stuff, y'all. So I'm gonna be trying this alone. We're gonna see how it tastes. And I also have a topic, you guys. I did put a community post out to see what y'all thought about this, so I'm gonna be sharing some of you guys' views as well. Are you guys ready? Let's get into the video. That's Tasha, that's Steph. Let's go ahead and fill in the rest. We gonna eat a little, drink a little. Our story time is the best. Have you LOL when you click play? No, this ain't no clickbait. All right, guys, I'm back. So, we got the Cardi B and Offset Valentine's Day meal, you guys. Let me tell y'all what's in it. Supposedly. Hopefully they gave me everything, you guys. Because McDonald's sometimes, I be tripping. Okay, so we got a quarter pounder with cheese. Cheeseburger, tangy barbecue sauce. Not sure what I'm supposed to be doing with that. Large fries, uh, apple pie, a Coke, and a high C. I wonder who likes a Coke and who likes a high C. Y'all let me know in the comments. I'm sure y'all know. All right, let's see if they gave me everything that I was supposed to get and also if it's fresh. That's, most of, that's the most important thing. Is it fresh? Nobody likes cold McDonald's fries. So one thing I already see now, I saw the little cute little Cardi B and Offset bag. I didn't get that, y'all. I got the regular McDonald's bag. We do have fries. Let's see how fresh they are. They could be much more fresh than that. Okay, the burger's still a little warm, so that's good. Got everything except for the tangy barbecue sauce. How did I know something was gonna be missing? Let me go get some barbecue sauce, y'all. We're going to improvise. All right, guys, I'm back. So, instead of McDonald's barbecue sauce, we're going to be using Sweet Baby Ray's. And I'm guessing they just dip this. They dip everything in this? Is it, Am I only supposed to be dipping a certain thing in the barbecue sauce? I don't know. Okay. Let's put our two drinks. I'm sharing. Basically, this meal is meant to be shared, but I have nobody to share it with. So, I'm gonna try to just eat half. Okay. I'm sure it won't be that difficult. I really love McDonald's uh, Coca Cola because they make it real strong usually. Let's see if it was. Mm -hmm. Let's give them what's supposed to be gave. Never have tried the high C. I think this is like a juice. I'm not really into juices or drinks. Hmm. It's okay. Tastes like something the kid would like. I like carbonated drinks, you guys, so. I'm more so with the soda. So let's lay everything out and get started. So I'm gonna be talking about a topic. I had a viewer ask me a question that inspired what we're gonna be talking about today. I did put on the community tab a question for you guys to answer it was a poll and then you guys also gave me some feedback in the comments so we're gonna see how y'all feel about it hopefully she sees everybody's comments and she can make a decision or whatever she needs to do okay so let's jump into one of my favorites the mcdonald's cheeseburger now these were my one of my favorites when i was in high school you guys i used to get the two cheeseburger combo let's try it i'm gonna go ahead and go right to dipping it in the barbecue sauce not the mcdonald's barbecue sauce Hmm. Hmm. These snackers. Now, one thing I've never thought to do was to dip a McDonald's cheeseburger in barbecue sauce. It's not bad. I thought I was gonna actually like it more because I love like bacon western cheeseburgers. But I can't really rate it all that because I'm using my own barbecue sauce. It's pretty good, but I honestly like it without it more. Let me go and add some ketchup right here, you guys. I did not do a thumbnail. Y'all can't even see all my food. I'm so sorry. Mm -hmm. I'm a um, fry on my burger type person. I really want to put some fry on, fries on this cheeseburger, but I'm not going to do it yet. Don't get into the quarter pounder. Yes, nice and strong. It's like I like it. I wish this food was a little um, more hot, 
You guys really do. Okay, first bite with no barbecue sauce. It tastes so much better, hot. Huh? They did me wrong. I door dash this. I should have went and got it myself. Um, but the place is right around the corner. So there's really no excuse for this to be cold like this. Mm. Mm -hmm. I mean, a quarter pounder is just a bigger cheeseburger to me, right? I don't think there's much difference. Maybe they grill the onions on the cheeseburger and they don't. Do they not grill the onions on the quarter pounder? It's just raw. That might be the only difference. Which one do you guys like more? Quarter pounder or cheeseburgers? So Cardi and Offset basically eat the same thing. <laughs> I'm assuming Offset is the one eating the bigger burger. I would need my own fries, though. They be over there sharing the fries, y'all? Mm-mm. Fries are the best part. Me and Tasha will be fighting over this one fry. Mm -hmm. So the topic is about level of privacy in your relationship. What do you like? How private are you? How private is your partner? Would you not deal with somebody that was super private? Would you not deal with somebody who wanted to be open and free about everything? I, mean, I think everybody has different standards and everyone is okay. I feel like you just have to find somebody who you're compatible with. So y'all both can be happy. And most of, most of my life, I have been a very private person. I mean, all around. Not just with relationships, just with people, period. <clears throat> you know, I... Had a hard time opening up to you. Y'all probably can see that in our, in our videos. Tasha's much more open than I am about my the, about our private business, right? So, I've changed some, but not completely. I think with my last relationship, it really came to a head. The whole privacy thing. Because with other people that I was with, I think we were both private. But with my last relationship, she she didn't want me to be private, y'all, okay? She hated it. She wanted to have my phone passwords, look through my stuff. She would. She did a lot. There was a lot she wanted to do. I think she went a little overboard. With the things that she wanted. But I also never eased her mind about stuff. I was just like, no. You know. I don't feel I want to share that, you know. So I think me not ever being open enough. Just made it worse for her. Made her think that I was up to stuff. And you know. That I was maybe cheating or whatever, but. It wasn't that. I just didn't. I feel like if you're going to be open, it should all come naturally and not by force. And I think when you try to pressure someone into um, being open, it kind of makes them be more closed. <laughs> you know, I mean, at least for me, that 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 was my experience. Now, with me and Tasha, I think because I feel like my privacy messed up my last relationship. Oh, well, it was one of the problems. One of the problems in my last relationship, I'll say that. I was more aware and I wanted to be more open so that the person can be more comfortable. So I already went into my relationship with Tasha being more um, <laughs> open to openness, if that makes sense. So I was just like, She wanted to look at my phone, it's fine. My password is fine. She never asked me for it though. But let's say 
I mean, I feel like at some point when you're with somebody long enough, you're going to ask them to look at your phone for something or they want to use your phone and they need to know the password, right? So when those times came, I wasn't like trying to put the password in myself. I mean, I just freely gave it to her, you know? So we ended up, I feel like naturally building a really open relationship that wasn't from pressure or anything. Now, I wonder how I would have felt if, let's say, I gave her my passwords. But then when it comes time for me to look through her phone, she didn't want to give me her password. I don't know how that would work. Because I'm all about an eye for an eye. You ain't about to have my password if I ain't got yours, period. What y'all think about that? Do you think it should be even? Do you think if one person is sharing their stuff, that the other person, that it's okay, the other person doesn't? I think that's very interesting. I couldn't be in a relationship like that, though. I'm get into the community post and see what y'all think about this. I need some more ketchup, y'all. I'll be turning that ketchup up. Tasha likes the um, fries with barbecue sauce. I'm not really a barbecue sauce with fries person. I either have to do... It's basically ketchup, but I will do ranch sometimes. Like, if I'm doing um, buffalo wings, I definitely will dip my uh, rice in ranch. That's for my baby. This for you, baby. Barbecue dip. I'll be right back. All right, so let's see what y'all think about this topic. On the community post, I said, would you date a person that was very private? Do you think secretive people are hiding things, or do you just respect their privacy? What level of openness do you expect in a relationship? All right, so 20% said, I expect complete openness with my partner, okay? They're like, you ain't, I need to know everything. 6% uh, said, I prefer to keep everything private. And 74% said, some level of privacy is okay. I agree with that. I definitely think you should be able to have some level of privacy because your person don't need to know. You need to have some things that are just for yourself, you know? You should be able to talk to your friends and family and stuff like that without them knowing every word you're saying. You know what I mean? So definitely some some privacy is okay. I do feel like it's a nice comfort in having some openness too, you know, and security in that. Um, but if you don't want to share anything, I think you should just find somebody that also doesn't want to share anything because it's too much conflict when people have uh, different ideas of about what they feel about privacy. So let's see what y'all said. Brittany says, I'm single right now, but I don't mind keeping some things private because everyone doesn't need to know every single part and detail about me and the person I'm dating. As long as they acknowledge me as their partner and don't forget where the relationship is fine. Okay. Alma said, it depends on the level of the relationship. I think you guys should be completely open if you are heading to marriage. Mm, okay. If you're dating, I think privacy is okay to a certain point. Okay. So what things would you guys want to keep private like do you think you should share the number of intimate partners you've had before should you share your salary your credit score with your partner is there a certain point where you think those things should definitely be shared or what like i know people that are in whole marriages and they they do not share finances at all okay what do you guys think about that i think it's i think either way is okay depending on what you what y'all both want you know it can work as far as intimate partners, uh, I don't even ask people that. Let them live, let their past life be what it is. You know what I'm saying? I don't care how many people you've been with and all that. Now, if you was, uh, um, I ain't gonna need to say. Y'all don't. Certain things should be shared, but I don't feel like you have to give a number of this and that. This is a good one, Alicia. The level of openness between two people depends on the level of your relationship. As for friendships, I've learned the hard way to keep my relationship business to myself, okay? I feel you. I've been done dirty too many times. Ultimately, in my relationship, I, I will prefer complete openness so that my love for you can overflow. Okay, I feel you. So you feel comfortable with it, everything being open. I agree with that because I feel like a lot of people, when you do keep thing, too much stuff private, it builds like an insecurity between you guys. So I agree with that. Um, and then also with the friends, honey. <laughs> I agree with that too, boo boo. Okay, I only have a certain select few, few that I share a lot of stuff with. Okay, everybody else, we can keep it where it is. Because you know, you can't trust everybody. And then you can't trust people to be giving you unbiased opinions and stuff. So, mm -mm, I don't have time. 
Kristen said privacy is perfectly okay. I, I don't think I'm owed everything from my partner because there are some parts of my life that I would never want to re relive. I agree with that. Or talk about with anybody. And I like that respected. I totally agree with that. I don't feel like you need to divulge all of your history and all that to anybody. I feel like you should say what you feel comfortable with. Really, past stuff shouldn't affect anybody's present with you. So privacy is perfectly fine with me. But shady and secretive is, is another thing. That's true. Like, if my person tells me there are things I just don't share because I don't want to, that's one thing. But to go around in a clearly deceptive manner, blatantly hiding shit, <laughs> they know I wouldn't be okay with. Okay? Yeah, see, that's the thing. That's, that's what those sneaky people be doing. They use, oh, I'm a private person to hide stuff they know damn well they shouldn't be doing. Now, those you got to be work, work, watch out for. And then I'll drop, drop them like a bad head. That's right, Kristen. Some level of privacy is cool, but things being done in a deceptive way has no place in a healthy relationship. Oh my, that is that was a great comment. I love it. Ani, we're just gonna call you Ani because I don't want to mess your name up. I feel like privacy with others is great, but as we are one with my husband, shouldn't be private with me. Now, I, now don't get it twisted. I'm not checking stuff or asking where you been, when, or what you have done every second of the day. So there will always be. Things I don't technically technically know. However, it should never be anything of high importance that you don't want to share with each other. Okay. I agree with that. Okay. I agree. Kanisha said everyone deserves some privacy in any form they see fit. And just because they're open doesn't mean they can't hide things either. That's true. <laughs> that is true. Actually, it's probably easier to hide stuff when you are open. Because, like, for example, me and Tasha, we, we are very open with our stuff. So, we have each other's passwords for pretty much everything, y'all. So... I don't go through her stuff because I already feel very, very comfortable. I don't think she goes through mine, but, you know, I'm just going to say she don't go through mine either. Because we're so comfortable and so open, it will be very easy to hide shit because nobody is feeling like something. So, it honestly is pretty easier for people that are open to actually hide things. So, keep eye on them. Keep your eyes open, no matter what. That's the bottom line. I'm just saying. <laughs> All right, y'all. Thank you for joining me on my solo. Thank you for contributing to my topic as well. And I hope the viewer gets what you need from that. Um, yeah. Until next time. Only goodbye. Peace out.